Hello everyone, welcome to One More Minute, and here's my top 5 Star Wars games. Starting at number 5 is Disney Infinity 3.0. Now this game was released earlier this year for all consoles including PC. It's a sandbox style action adventure game made with the help of Ninja Theory, Studio Gobu, Sumo Digital, and United Front Games. Now some people might say it's not actually a Star Wars game. Which is true, but it doesn't make it any less fun. Now the game covers the three Star Wars storylines, the Clone Wars where you play as Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker and Yoda, the Rise Against where you can play as Luke Skywalker and Vader, and uh, there's a bunch of other characters as well, and later on this year will be The Force Awakens, which is supposed to be based off the new movie, The Force Awakens. Now, I hope you bought your tickets, because I have, and I want to be able to share my experience with all y'all. That's why I'm making this list, yay! Alright. Now, number four is The Force Unleashed. One and two. Now, you play as Vader's secret apprentice, Starkiller, as you are tasked to hunt down Jedi and kill rebels and Imperials alike. But you start to redeem yourself to the light side of the Force as you kind of come to realize uh, who you are and what you've been doing. Now here's a fun fact. Luke Skywalker was originally supposed to be named Luke Starkiller. And that's how Starkiller got his name. So it's kind of like a nice little, you know, thing for him to do. And so, as you can see, you will use your force and, you know, dual lightsabers. Now, number three is the Old Republic. The Old Republic is an MMO that came out for PC back in 2011. You can pick what side to fight on, the Republic or the Sith Empire. You can choose what class you want to be. You can be a Jedi Bounty, or you can be a Jedi, Bounty Hunter, a Smuggler, a tr or a Trooper. You can, there's actually a bunch of other classes, as you can see. You pretty much get to explore the Star Wars universe in any style you want. The game is also free. But the, there does happen to have some microtransactions, or you can pay for a subscription, which you get some more uh, gear and better perks. And you get to pick what race you want to be. So you can be a Twilight, a Twilight bounty hunter. Sure. A Cyber Jedi? Why not? But certain races have class restrictions, so be wary of that. There's a new expansion coming out, so get on board. It's fun, and if you have a decent PC, why not? So you can go ahead and explore the Star Wars universe and maybe become one, you know, fulfill your fantasies. It's actually a lot of fun. And if you are going to play it, let me know and I'll hop on with you. It's been a while since I played it. Now number two is Star Wars Battlefront. One, two, and three. Now the Battlefront series wants you to be a foot soldier in the historic battles of Star Wars. But who doesn't want to be there? Because, you know, sometimes you don't want to be an overpowered Jedi. You want to have that morality factor, like, oh man, that at, -AT is going to destroy me, and he does. Now, do so you want to snipe away those pesky rebel scums? Go for it! Or want to blast away those evil Imperials? Why not? This game comes out next month, so soon, for all the major consoles or rather next gen consoles with the PlayStation 4, PC, and uh, Xbox One. So, and like I said, it comes out next month. A lot of games come out next month. But you can collect power-ups such as special grenades, machine guns, ships, or even a hero such as Luke Skywalker and Vader. There will be more heroes on the list as Han Solo and Princess Leia. Each map has different modes. So for this one on Hoth, it was more like a capture and defend mode, where you, if you were the rebels, you had to prevent the Imperials from collecting or capturing these satellites, which in a... Uh, oh, nope, flip that. I was wrong. I'm sorry. As a Republic, you capture the nodes so you can get the, the bombers so they can take down the walkers. Now, the number one on my list is Knights of the Old Republic, or KOTOR, depending on how, uh, where you, you know, saw it. Now, this was probably my favorite Star Wars game, due to its amazing storyline and its expansive universe. Pick your party and find out who you really are. 
with the vast amount of skills to use and weaponry, there are countless of hours of collecting everything. Like I said, there's a huge story. I spent, I spent like 50, 60 hours playing it, and there's so much to do, so many planets to explore. Number two didn't do well as number one, but number one was still a fantastic play. You can get it on uh, older consoles, you can get it on your PC on Steam, or you can buy it on your uh, iPhone. They have it there for, I believe, $10. I don't know how it turned out because I didn't get it, but play it. It's fantastic. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will continue making more. So I'll see you guys next time. Spectre out. Bye.